Hack, I'm getting hacked. No, I know, I know. Can you play the game? Whoa, I, I'm getting hacked. Oh, can we shoot height? Can we shoot height? Yeah, yeah, shoot now. I'm, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I'm, I'm, I got aimbot, I have aimbot. Well, just when you thought Toofy was bad, things just happened to get a whole lot worse. I'm pretty sure we all know that Apex just got hacked. Was it Toofy, the original hacker who hacked pro players live on stream and locked their accounts? No, it's not Toofy. This is Destroyer2009, and honestly, that kind of just sounds like the name I used for my emails when I was a kid. Point being is, this guy could be 15 years old, if that 2009 in his name is the year of his birth, and he may also be Russian. However, I'm almost a thousand percent sure that the vote Putin in the admin menu for the hacks he used is basically just a troll. Oh yeah, let me also mention that Destroyer2009 also did exactly what Toofy did and hacked the LGS playoffs, except he did way more damage than what your regular hacker can actually do. I mean, we've seen some pretty wild things in Apex this year, one of those things being hackers who are able to hulk jump across the map by meleeing absolutely insane but this guy literally gave hell and jen hacks during their lgs match like it was a gift or something now jen burton is a smart guy the moment he realized that he was getting gifted hacks he immediately left the game and called it there i'm getting hacked i'm getting hacked but i know i know it's true. can you play the game Whoa, I, i'm getting hacked i know but can you play can you play it? yeah but it, I'm, it's cheating the f i know i know i know and what like what no but is what? Up your game? Yes, I can see everyone. Like, I'm. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. I, I didn't leave the game, right? Yeah, yeah I'm game. leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It's like, what the? F admin's down. Nick, admin's down. Nick, admin's down. Tell the admin's down. I, I left. Down. I left. Like, admin's down. <laughs> Restart your game. Rejoin. Oh no, you left the match. Did you close your game? Leave the match. I left. Jen, I had to leave. Did you leave the match? I have to. Yes, yeah, I have to. Yes, I have to. I have to leave. I left. Destroyer 2009 gave Jen wall hacks, and as you can see. Jen could see everyone on the map in that area. However, Hell, on the other hand, was given aimbot. I'm, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. He actually knew this. He literally said it himself. Yeah, I got aimbot. I have aimbot. But then he continued to shoot people after he said he shouldn't shoot people. But if I just don't shoot? What if I just don't shoot? So, of course, after that, Hell tried to play ranked, and immediately after getting into a game, his account got straight banned. Oh, yeah, I got banned. Oh. He got banned? banned too, Why do I got banned? No, I think I got banned too, bro. This client's game account's been banned. I got banned. Wait. Wait, I got, dude, somebody got 10. I got penalty too? What the f It said I got banned. It just said I got banned. I have a penalty now. Well, I'm, I guess I'm. Oh my god, this is insane. I don't know, I need to tell Hell Haven. You said you were banned too, for sure? Yeah, well, I don't know for sure. It, just, it gave me the banned message, though. It said this game client account is banned or whatever. And they almost got their careers completely ended too, if it wasn't for the hacker himself typing in the in-game chat that ALGS, along with Jen, was actually getting hacked everybody would have immediately started throwing accusations. This hacker was basically injecting hacks into their account without even being on their account, and now the entire event has been postponed. I do, however, find it funny that not so long ago, EA laid off devs that were working on this game since day one. And then LGS happens, and by some unbelievable coincidence, it's completely unsafe for anyone to play Apex Legends right now. And to put the cherry on top of the cake, the cheater literally has back-end access. That is the only way that he would have been able to pull any of this off. The latest update we have about this is from the Easy Anti-Cheat Twitter page, or X page, which also, by the way, this is their first tweet in literal years. Five years, to be precise. And they, in short, just said that the hacks isn't coming from their side. There's nothing wrong with the easy anti-cheat in Apex, and they're saying that this is essentially Respawn and EA's fault. Mind you that this is also the same hacker who donated over 4,000 Apex packs to Manday on stream, who then proceeded to actually interview Destroyer 2009. Yo, you have a mic. There's no way you don't. Are you, uh, are you Destroyer 2009? He is mega cheating, by the way. Like, mega cheating. What about what, what if you turn it off this game? I mean, that would be kind of complicated because I kind of suck. So you suck at the game? Uh, yeah, I don't know. yeah.
Yeah, I would. They were like, what's the point of playing the game then if you're really bad? Uh, because it's fun. Do you think it's interesting to cheat? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you not like feel any satisfaction, you know? You know, like becoming very good at something yourself? If you don't just buy cheat, but if you spend time on like, investigating everything on your own, like making the cheats on your own, that's really interesting. Don't you feel bad about cheating? Uh, why would I? Because it's kind of unethical, you know? Our life isn't ethical at all. Damn. That's true. <laughs> I can't argue with that. That's true. But the thing is, this guy isn't just targeting streamers. He's targeting content creators as well. Fade recently put out a tweet that his girl had scanned his PC and they found 17 damn viruses on it. So the moment you guys are done watching this video, I would highly, highly recommend scanning your PCs, please. Now, the only kind of official statement we have right now is from Rain Day Gaming, who spoke for EA and Respawn about the entire shit show that is currently going on. integrity of this series being compromised we have made the decision to postpone the na finals at this time we're going to share information soon and as we have it we will keep you guys updated thanks everybody for watching and uh we'll keep you updated on things to follow i completely understand that the devs need to remain professional throughout this entire ordeal but where the hell is hideouts right now he along with any other dev hasn't said anything about this well at least from what i've seen because i'm pretty sure the professional thing to do would be to make an official statement yourselves addressing the situation because such hacks on this scale are not new for the apex community we also had the safe titanfall hack a while ago and the hackers completely shut down all the playlists and you literally couldn't play the game but now everyone here is at stake of getting their information leaked account hacked banned and all the rest of it and every single year it just seems that hacks in apex are just getting crazier and crazier i'm sure we all remember the dual wield hack where cheaters could equip any weapon in both hands and they would still have aimbot enabled with wall hacks or either speed hacks. Not only that, we also just recently saw the same hacker send an army of bots to full send W key the shit out of multiple streamers. The same hacker, by the way, Destroyer2009, literally coded a bunch of bots to follow streamers from the dropship onto the ground, chase them around, and grief them. If we're being completely honest with ourselves, this kind of feels similar to Titanfall 2. The downfall of that game was the incredibly massive cheating problem and respawn just leaving players in the dust to deal with it. And I'm not saying they won't deal with this issue. Of course, they're going to deal with the issue. They always fix the game once something like this happens, but just exactly how many times does this need to happen for anyone over there to have a serious wake-up call. I'm talking to you, Mr. Wilson Andrew, the CEO of EA, because EA and Respawn literally managed to fumble the bag on a shorty like Titanfall 2, and now Apex. Well, for the most part, one thing I can genuinely hope for is that they seriously don't do anything to make the new Titanfall game terrible.